We've been around for hundreds of thousands of years, but it's only in the last 10,000 years or so that we've achieved so much because of a stable climate. We knew where to plant crops and grow food because of where it would rain. We could have these fantastic coastal cities and trade between borders because of a stable sea level. But now we're changing our climate. Climate change is caused by heat trapping gases like CO2. They cause the greenhouse effect. Well, think of it as the hot car effect. When you leave the car windows up on a sunny day and the sun comes in and heats the car up and the heat can't escape, well, the CO2 we've released is like a thin layer of glass all the way around the world. That layer has already warmed the world up by one degree centigrade. That may not sound like much, but actually that's already causing more droughts, more floods and more heat waves. With just one more degree warming, climate change becomes climate chaos. And we're locked into that warming within 20 years if we don't act now. CO2 comes from the tailpipes of cars, from the smokestacks of power stations and factories, from farming, from deforestation. But driving around, making things, growing food, doesn't have to cause climate change. Energy has made life so much better. But most of it today still comes from fossil fuels like oil, gas and coal which release CO2 and cause climate change. Clean energy for everyone may seem like a big challenge, but we've always doubted our ability to change. In the 1900s, we thought city streets would soon be covered in horse manure three meters deep, but then trams, trains, trolleybuses and the car took the problem away. It's easy to underestimate our ability to drive change, but we already know much of what to do. This will be a solar century, where we turn every roof into a power station, where every community generates their own energy from the wind and the sun. Where fantastic efficient technologies like LED lights slash energy use. Where electric vehicles transform the way we travel and the air that we breathe. Where we say no to waste and turn it into new materials. We've only just started. We've got fantastic ability to innovate and create a better future. It's up to everyone to tackle climate change. Governments, companies, you and me. Governments can take the lead, setting strong policies and targets. Companies can create better products and services that transport us cleanly, that save us energy, that harness the power of the wind and the sun. And we can all make better choices. The food we eat, the way we travel, the way we heat, cool and light our homes. It's down to us. We will be the generation that creates more forests than we destroy. That says no to pollution and turns waste into resources. That has cities with clean air and no congestion. That has abundant, affordable, clean energy for everyone. We will be the generation that creates a better, fairer future for all of us.